Messiaen's Quartet for the End of Time had an extraordinary genesis. Messiaen was drafted into the French army and was captured and sent to a German prisoner of war camp in 1940. There were three other French musicians there, a clarinetist, a violinist, and a cellist. Messiaen played the piano. So this was the combination and the piece is nothing if not ambitious in its scope. Messiaen's music is incredibly visual. It's so evocative and you can't help but see colors everywhere um, as inevitably he must have been seeing whenever he heard music. Knowing that Messiaen had the condition of synesthesia, it gives you a great insight into his music. He associated very, very specific shades of color with harmonies and with sounds and with keys too. He saturates the harmonies so much, giving the listener a kind of a bath of color, really. This quartet was a really wonderful way to kick off the opening concert of this year's festival, the theme being nature, from which Messiaen drew so much inspiration just a general love and appreciation of it. And, and then you get into very specific elements in nature, such as the aurora and bird calls, which Messiaen famously became so obsessed with. They're almost supposed to be inaudible, really off, off in the distance. And so you can imagine the bird from another realm, maybe from heaven. For Messian, nature and spirituality are very much connected. This piece is so meditative, and you can almost sit on those harmonies that he creates for us forever. The first time I, I heard it and started working on it, I consciously noticed my whole perception of time changing, this time in different dimensions from movement to movement. During the pandemic, for many of us, nature was the only thing that we could hold on to. Those times when we could actually go out and take a walk, those were times where we find perhaps the most peace to just have that perspective of how precious nature is and how precious each time you walk on stage is to all of us.